very beneficial to him because he's a smooth operator. The Reeboks, I, I think Andre, uh, Andre Durrell is a great fighter because, a great young prospect because he's a good boxer. He takes his time to set the shots up. And hey, he's gonna, be, he's gonna be outstanding tonight. Well, Chris Holt looking good. He is ready for action, but he knows he is definitely an underdog because here comes the hometown hero, Andre Ward. Grew up mm. just 40 miles from here in Oakland, California. Let's listen to the reception. <laughs> Definitely going to win tonight. I've got him winning this one in five rounds. You? Sal, you're never good at this stuff. I'm always good at this stuff. I got him going to the decision because he wants to entertain everybody with his skills. I got him going out in four rounds. I think, I just, I, just like my man John says, he likes to put on the show before he ends it. Before he ends it. All right, let's see if his actions live up to our words. Right now, let's send it down to Barry Tompkins and Rich Murata. Barry, by the way, I realized we're outnumbered by the bald guys, three to two tonight. <laughs> I know, that's very true. And I wanted to mention to you, too, this was my bar mitzvah suit. Uh, good. You look good, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Still fits. It's amazing, isn't it? Rich, I think uh, Andre Ward had to have looked at uh, what Andre Durrell did, and I thought Andre Durrell's performance was pretty slick. Right. I would think that'll give uh, Andre Ward a little bit more impetus. Yeah, I think so, but he's got an impetus enough tonight. I think uh, just from being in this hometown city, Situation, the night of the Olympians, etc. And the thing is, he's been developing. I expect him to get better here tonight because he's been developing. Look at that strong left jab that he showed in his last fight with the Ben Aragon. He outclassed the Aragon. This was a most impressive performance for the young Ward. And I thought at this point, with the fight was stopped, you know, four fights, each one better than the one before. Andre Ward is showing he is learning lessons in the gym and applying them in the ring. Yeah, and that's what I really like about him. He says, I take a little something out of every fight and bring it with me to the next fight. It's all learning process. It's exactly what's happening. Let's take a look at the Hooters, tail of the tape, see how these two match up with one another. Andre Ward, of course, undefeated in his four fights, fighting the most experienced fighter that he will have seen. A guy with 16 fights. Chris Holt has won 12 of those 16 and eight of them by knockout. The biggest problem for Chris Holt, of course, going to be very much what Juan Camacho had to deal with against Andre Durrell, and that is trying to get inside the jab of Andre Ward. With that, let's go to the center of the ring and Jimmy Lennon. Jimmy. Well, fans, is now coming your way as a special attraction in the middleweight division, and it's all brought to you courtesy of Goose and Tudor Promotions in association with Roy Jones Square Ring, Inc. Introducing to you our judges scoring this bout from ringside, Jack Campbell, Marty Salmon, and Dave Nelson, and our third man in the ring, Marcos Rosales. All right, fans, here we go with a middleweight special attraction scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with white lettering and hailing from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. He weighed in at 159 pounds, his record 12 wins, 4 losses, with 8 wins coming by way of knockout, introducing Christopher Kryptonite Holes. And his opponent across the ring, he is ready to go on my right the blue corner wearing silver trunks with red lettering he is proudly representing the bay area and fighting out of his home of oakland california he 
his weight, 159 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with four wins, no losses, two wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the sole U.S. gold medalist in boxing in the 2004 Olympic Games. Please welcome the undefeated Andre S.O. Once again, our left in charge, Marcos Rosales, now to give instructions, six rounds of boxing schedule. Let's go, Chris. Gentlemen, we're going six rounds. Understand this, okay? That's a low blow. That's good. Here we go. Touch him up. Keep it clean. Take a look at the rules here in the state of California. The 10 point must system scoring, of course. Three knockdown rule not in effect. There won't be a standing eight count. A fighter can't be saved with the bell in any round except the last round. That's the one rule that is a little bit different. The referee or the doctor can stop the fight. And if there's a headbutt, we go to the show something. Yeah, I think that was the uh, the learning process in that fight. And, and certainly uh, in, in his second fight, he got clocked and uh, came back from that. And by his own admission, he said, you know, he got hurt. He was, but, you know, the thing is, is every fighter has to face some adversity. And he found out right then, his second full fight, that he can face adversity, be hurt, and come back. You have to learn how to be able to collect yourself, gather yourself, uh, uh, Barry, survive, and then come back to fight another round. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. And every fighter says, you know, until you get hit, you don't know how you're going to come back. Well, Andre Ward knows, and he learned it early in his career. Ward here has totally taken the play away from Holt, who wanted to be the aggressor, really, you know, bang with Ward right, at, right from the beginning. Yeah, make him fight. Get him into a, not a street fight so much, but make him fight with him rather than box with him. Hey! Back up. Hands up. Box. Let's go to Sean O'Grady right now with uh, a little something on Chris Holt. Sean? Thanks, Barry. You know, Chris wanted to get in this fight, move forward, stay down low, and attack. And Bob and Weave, he's out of that, that uh, technique right now. He's backing up. This is a fighter, too, that does not know how to back up in the ring. It's a dangerous position, especially when you're fighting somebody like Andre, guys. Well, he's given away a lot of height. He's given away a lot of reach. And if he's going to have any chance in this fight, that's a push. That is not a knockdown. But if he's going to have any chance, he's got to get inside the jab of Andre Ward, which he has been absolutely unable to do thus far. You know, I, I have, I've seen Fuck. that last little tactic of just pushing the guy down. I saw George Foreman do that once to an opponent, Boone Kirk. Well, you push me, I push you. <laughs> And it was by plan when Foreman did it with Boone Kirkman. He wanted to show him how strong he was. He went right across at the opening bell and just threw him down. So that jab is a really nice weapon. Ward gets around that ring very well. Good jabber. Good balance. Snaps the jab. It's not just the jab that he shows. I mean, it's an effective weapon for him. That's not a knockdown either. Although I'll tell you what, there was a punch involved there. <laughs> Tried to shoot that left uppercut like Andre did. I'm just. Andre Ward wanted to let him know he could outstrength him in the first round. Look how he just threw Holt to the canvas. Once a little bit later, he'll cuff him to the canvas with his left hand. Neither of those knockdowns, but still, they send a little message. That's how Holt is trying to rush in, and that's not an easy thing to do against the guy with an effective jab like Andre Ward. The time he got it for the first time, he scored a couple of times to the body. Between rounds, uh, John Hoffman, the trainer of uh, Chris Holt, was telling him, just throw punches, don't care where they land. Land them on the arm, on his shoulders, on his elbows, wherever. Let him feel you. Let him start wearing him down. Try to take those legs away if you can. Another George Foreman theory. Hit him anywhere. Ward, for his part, is uh, a lot more of a shark shooter. Ward, even in the short frame of time that he's been a professional, you could see his improvement. Just his movement in the ring, his confidence in his punches. Well, too, Barry, you know, as you go along, you fight a little bit more orthodox fighters than you do at the very beginning. Uh, you know, then you fight guys who really know how to fight. You actually have a chance to better display your skills. 
Sean O'Grady is uh, in the corner of Andre Ward. Sean? Well, Virgil Horner, the chief trainer over here, was saying to Andre, he's saying, get in the zone. I want you to relax a little bit. Sometimes, especially when you're fighting in front of your own crowd, your home, you want to kind of force your punches. All Virgil wants him to do is relax and let the combinations flow. It'll all come together. Don't try, try to knock him out. Try to put the combinations together, and he'll fall, guys. Well, you know, my feeling and what I'm looking at here is that he's very relaxed in there. He's not trying to rush anything or do anything on tour. The, uh, the danger, though, fighting in your hometown when there's a lot of hometown buildup, and there has been for a month here in the Bay Area. Oh, that's a stinging left hook there. It sure is. You know, the, the danger is, and I, you've seen it so many times with fighters. We saw Dominic Gwynn when he took on Monty Barrett uh, earlier this year. Corey Spinks didn't seem totally focused when he fought Zab Judah when he was in his home. And uh, Vander Holyfield when he fought Burt Cooper. Time and again, you know. And a nice combination. A right hand and a left hook behind it, and another left hand. And that was really just a jab, and it got Holt going backward. That, that left hook is whistling tonight. Stop! A headbutt from Holt. Holt is coming off a very good victory over Troy Lowry. Good, close, and bloody fight. Yeah, there was a headbutt involved there, too. They had to go to the scorecards, and Holt was ahead on the cards at the time the fight was stopped in the fifth round. Yeah, but he can't get close enough <laughs> so far no to Ward to get him in a fight. Now, Ward looking very, very sharp. End of round two. Well, still to come our main event in the heavyweight division, Oddly Harrison. We'll get it on with the tough Robert Wiggins. Meanwhile, we begin the third round. Andre Ward and Chris Holt. And a good left hand from Ward. That's not a knockdown. But Holt in this round is rushing him, Barry, and he's trying to turn it into if he can. I think he feels that his best chance is to really is to turn it into a street fight. Ward just sharpshooting. Very good with the left hand. Another good left hand by Ward brings the crowd out of its seat. Really impressed with the left hook that Andre's throwing tonight. That was a right hand lead and a left hook behind it and another left hand from Ward. And Holt is firing back. Holt will get up, but he is not on real steady pins. Long way to go here in the third round. I don't expect Andre to go wild here because he's a, he has a pretty calm demeanor in that ring as he does out of it. Left hand again slipped in. He's looking to set him up again for another combination. Well, he slipped a really quick uppercut in there that was a nice punch. There's a jab. And he's starting to bust up Chris Holt now. Andre Ward is showing a hard jab tonight. It's such a very good offensive weapon for him. Boy, it is. It's a good jab. It, it, you know, some fighters would just show a jab and use it as a, a measuring stick more than anything else. Right. That's not the case here. It's I a, don't like that range finder jab, that probing jab. What you're seeing here from Andre Ward tonight is using a jab to hurt an opponent. Absolutely. He, he's, he's starting to really break up. That's a knockdown. His knee hit the canvas. And I'm not sure how much more Chris Holt wants. Good left hand. This is not going to go much longer. And the knee, and that's no three knockdown rule, but let's see. Go cut right through the bell. Let's see if he gets up. It's the body shots that are really in this round also really bringing him to his knees, literally. Yeah. That was a huge, huge round for Andre Ward. I mean, there's, there's nothing to criticize Andre Ward about at all. The fight may not continue. There'll be some drop over in the corner. I just got a couple things to tell you. Just read these, get yourself together. He ain't gonna recover from that. I'm conscious of staying with him, okay? Start him out with the jab. Start bringing the combination. They're gonna stop this fight. And I think it's well stopped. I'll tell you, there's just no criticizing what we saw from Andre Ward tonight. I mean, he was the whole package, in my opinion. It's an impressive performance. I thought his first round may have been just a little tight, but his second and third round, you know, showing more and more skills, tools, every every fight, Barry. 
Yeah, what well, we said. I mean, he's he's a guy who really understands his position and where he is. Take a look at the see knockout. Where he, see where he strikes that jab from way down low. Tommy Hearns was expert at doing that. And you can throw it down low when you've got that kind of quickness. Look at those body shots. They were just breaking them down. They were the difference in the end where they where he had uh, you know busted them up in the face earlier in the uh, last round. Those last knockdowns really caused a lot by those body shots. By this time, Holt was just about all through. He kept hitting him to the body, and each time he did, there he fell. Well, I mean, a very impressive performance. I don't think there's any uh, grade to give him but an A here tonight. If there's anything, it's as you said, maybe a little slow in the first round. Oddly, Harrison and Robert Wiggins when we come back. Yeah, he got the pink shirt on. I'm... We welcome you back to the HP Pavilion. We are in San Jose, California. The two Andres have put another notch on their belt. Still to come, the gold medalist from the 2000 Olympics in the heavyweight division, Audley Harrison, will get it on with a very tough Robert Wiggins. That's still coming up. In the meantime, Andre Ward before the home folk. I thought Rich made a real statement tonight. Yeah, I think this had to be a real thrill for him to come in and perform in this fashion. I thought he took Chris Holt out of his game right away from the very first minute, and Holt never really was able to get into the fight. Big punch for him was those left hooks, whistling left hooks, and then he changed his attack to the body and began just battering the body, and Holt couldn't take it down there. And Ward uh, suspected that. He knew what was going on there. You see that hook to the body again. Down he went, and it was celebration time. Time to party in San Jose. And with good reason. I thought Andre Ward was the complete package tonight. Here's Jimmy Landon Jr. We'll make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number three.